we have a lot of topics that we have in mind to discuss. But today I want to talk to you about marketing your art through eBay. eBay offers many options for an artist who's looking for a place to sell their work and to try to get honest prices and try to sell at a fair at a fair market value and to sell through a service that is fair to virtually everybody that they sell for. Okay, let's talk about how you make a presentation on eBay. One overriding of fact that if you're an artist and you want to sell through eBay, the single most important thing you have to understand is that you're only going to get one shot at making a first impression. To impress a buyer that your piece of merchandise is the one that should take precedence over anybody else's merchandise. Now, you have to understand there are many artists that are trying to sell through eBay. The statistics, the average shopper on the average website, including eBay, I probably should say especially eBay, is that the average shopper will only spend two to three seconds over, overlooking your page to see if what you have is something they may want to consider. Two to three seconds. That's all you have when you go to eBay to convince somebody, hey, stop for a second. Sure. Stop. And please take a look at what I have to sell. Now, if you have a cheap looking presentation, if you have a presentation with lots of flashes, a lot of things going on, and so the chances are that people won't stop at that because it's too much gibberish for them to take in. They don't want to, if they're really shopping, they want to go through things quickly, then they want to find a presentation that entices them to at least stop for longer than two or three seconds and take a look at what they have. Okay, now eBay has some advantages for a seller that wants to sell works of art. Number one is compared to a gallery and compared to an auction house, any auction house these days in the United States or in Europe, eBay fees are dirt cheap. They charge a listing fee and they charge a very small commission. I, last time I checked, it was like 10%. I don't know if that has changed recently, but last time I checked, it was 10%. And not only that, eBay, they have all kinds of helps and tutorials on how to make a presentation on their service. Another advantage that eBay has that for the same low fee, maybe for a little additional listing fee, that you can list on eBay, not only in the United States, but you can list all across in the, all across Europe. You can do it all across Asia. There are some African nations that are starting to, um, to allow eBay to come into their country as long as they have um, you know, um, the uh, service infrastructure for you to do it, then you can uh, put works of art up for sale in Africa. The eBay also has shipping aids. Once you sell a, well, sell a work of art, what do you do then? Well, they have shipping aids that they can say, okay, how do you want to ship this? You want to ship by UPS? You want to ship by the United States Post Office? How do you want to do it? And if you want to ship by one of these services, click this link and we'll help you to establish the postage and get you a label to put on it. And you can make your own 
um, presentation and stuff, even on your shipping labels. Okay. I'd like to give you a, a couple of examples of eBay presentations. And both, I think, are good, solid presentations. I do know that both the artists, both of the services that are selling these two things have been very successful on eBay. I just want to show you of how these two people are selling on eBay and how their what their presentations look like. Okay. The first one is from my own experience. Now, the first one is an EE glass painting, Last Light with Rising Moon. You can see the title and you can see what I put as far as information on the title listing. And this is when you go through the listings under art, under that, under paintings, this listing would appear. If you're on the mailing list for um, EE Glass, you'll receive a notice about this listing. If you're on a, a uh, the alert list for GB Tate, it's my ID on eBay, you'll also get a notice of this listing. So here it is. Now I put the very basic on, on half of my listings, the very basic information. E. e. Glass, the title, Last Light with Rising Moon, OP, which means oil on panel, 9 by 12. And that's all I tell people about the work of art itself. The second thing I put on there, you can see in parentheses, I put Sanzine and Impressionism. Now, I put these two words in there because number one, the work of E.E. E. Glass is very similar to the work of Burger Sanzine. So I put the word Sanzine in there so that people that are doing a search for Sanzine artworks, they will also find a hit for E.E. E. Glass. The next word that's in parentheses is word Impressionism. So that anybody that goes on eBay and does a search for Impressionism or Impressionist paintings, that this, again, this listing for e-glass will pop up on that search parameter. Okay, now that's, those are just two examples. I have used many other examples of artists or periods of art or styles of art or art movements that I put in that parentheses on my listings anyway as guides for the um, search parameters that on eBay that searchers would find that particular listing. Now the thing I put in the lastly on my listings are the letters NR, which stands for no reserve. And that is a fairly common and, and fairly widely understood uh, notation so that when people see NR, they all know that whatever they bid for, if they bid $1 and nobody else bids, they're going to buy that thing for $1. If they're willing to pay $100, you can put $100 in there and eBay will bid for you. But if nobody else bids $2, you'll end up buying that work of art for $1. So that's a good system that eBay has. And I like that. No, thanks. Yep. Okay. If you scroll down on it, then the, what you'll see is a kind of a standard form list. Uh, when you list a thing on eBay, there's a form that you fill out and you said who's the artist, what's the style, what's the size, just a number of things, and you fill that out and you put it all on it. And that also helps with the parameters that eBay uses in searching their search engine to find your work of art. They'll use these various things 
as the parameters for for uh, finding works of art. And then after that, what you'll find is actually what this is your chance to make your presentation. Now, this is different from just the form listing. When you make your presentation, here is where you are representing yourself on eBay. And so this is my presentation. Now, I will confess to you that it took me months of experimenting and and learning how HTML code works. And it's just not an overnight easy, easy way to do it. It took me a long time to study. And, but there again, eBay has all kinds of helps and they have all kinds of things that you can work through. And you can make a, a presentation that will suit your taste. And I pay a close attention to everything. How many spaces are between sentences? How, what the color of the background is? Uh, something that is easy to look at. A white background to me is something that um, is can become kind of a glare. So I put, I use a green background, a pale green background that is easy to look. And the next thing that I do on my uh, listing is I put up one nice six-inch image of whatever it is I'm trying to sell. And you can see here, there's a typical image of what I put in there. And then immediately under the image, I put a description, the foundational description of what it is I'm selling. Here you have the artist, Emerson Glass, the years and dates of his birth and death, the title of the artwork, and an instant description of what it is. It's an oil on panel, 9 by 12 inches, signed in the lower right, and it's in excellent condition. And then in this particular one, I put, note, the international auction estimate for this artwork is $1,200 to $1,500. U.S. dollars. And then in the, in red, it says to see a larger and more detailed image. Please view our eBay, eBay images above. And what that is, that takes you back up to the top. <laughs> you look on the left hand side and they have a, an image and then they have a little, uh, arrows there and you can click it and then go through all the detail images that of that particular item, artwork, whatever it is that you have for sale. You can put up 12 pictures, that item, whatever it is, for free on eBay, and it's included with your listing fee, of a dollar or two dollars, whatever it is. And you can uh, make your presentation with a lot of good photographs. A caveat here, again, Please, if you want to sell on eBay, take excellent, excellent photographs that are accurate, taken with good lighting. And there's nothing wrong with using a cell phone. Cell phones these days, the cameras are better than most people have on digital cameras. The cell phones take good photographs. They will adjust for light. And if you can get even slightly proficient with using uh, a photo editor. You can eliminate all kinds of things. If, this, if a picture's not quite right one way or the other, if it, you can fix it, if it uh, needs to be cropped, you can fix, fix the lighting issues, color issues, all kinds of issues you can fix. And eBay will allow you to do all that. And they even offer some tutorials on how to edit a picture so that you can make a presentation. Okay, continuing down on this, on my listing, I put notes. And then I make notes about the particular work of art that I'm selling, or why it is a good work of art, or why the artist is a recognized artist. 
or why this particular one and how it fits into the total number in the case of VE glass. I've sold many paintings on eBay of VE glass, and I often describe where this particular artwork fits into the total production of the artist. And this is the place that uh, you short um, description paragraphs that are easy to read, easy to understand. There's not a lot of artistic jargon and a lot of just, you know, blah, 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 and, and extraneous stuff that has no um, direct relationship to the work that I'm selling. I get to the point, I make it to the point, so when people read my description of my own personal description of what I'm selling, they'll get to the point very quickly on my descriptions. And then in my last photograph is at the bottom of my listings. I do put the caveat in there. If you remember, I encourage people to bid and bid all they want, bid with confidence, because when I put things up for heat sale on eBay, everything is with free shipping. Everything that I sell on eBay, with a few, few minor exceptions, if it's a very heavy sculpture or if it's a heavy crate of a painting with a frame in it, that's, you know, I will put an estimate of what the shipping charges are. But I've, I've, out of many sales I've made, no more than a handful of I sold and charged shipping. And then I put on eBay a, a link to a, a video. They do allow a link to YouTube. If you want to put a YouTube presentation on your eBay, they will allow you to put a YouTube video on there. If you want to put a link to your own website, no, they won't let you do it. And then at the bottom, I put my uh, my name of my company. The fact that it was established in 1967, serving the art community at the time of this particular listing for 53 years, shows you how long ago that uh, this particular listing was up on eBay. Now I'd like to tell you about another artist who sells on eBay and does very well with it. His name is Jose Trujillo. Now, Jose called me one day, just out of the blue. He saw that I was selling some works on on eBay, and he wanted to know how I did things. So he called me up, and we spent a good hour the first time we talked um, on the phone and asking me all kinds of questions about how I did things, and he was very curious about it. And then he began selling, or he was selling, or shortly after that, he began selling on eBay himself. And if you go to, if, if you do a search for Trujillo, you'll find uh, different options on how you go to Trujillo. But uh, if you go to his seller page, this is what you'll see. Now, there's some astounding, astounding things about Jose. Jose is a big time seller on eBay. You can see that on this particular page, he had sold over 73,000. That's 73,000 works of art. That's what he has sold on eBay. I have in, in mind, you may have seen it in the page a minute ago that I have 900 and some followers. Jose has 7,200, over 7,200 followers just on eBay. He also has followers on Twitter. He has followers on Facebook. He has followers on Instagram. He has followers on his website. He has a good feedback rating on eBay, 99.5% positive feedback. Here's a painting of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight figures. Nine, if that's a figure down here in the lower left. But this is a, a sample of one of the better pictures that Jose has put up. 
Here's one of his, what he calls, Impressionist paintings. And this is a uh, Japanese bridge over um, a pond, much like um, called Monet did. If you look at another one of his images, here's one of a whimsical bear staring at you in a field of flowers and weeds. If you look at another one, here's a vase of flowers in a very nicely rendered glass, clear glass vase. Very nicely done. If you look at the next one, here's a bee and a donut. Now, personally, I think this is an absolute wonderful work of art. Huh. I've already bought about a half a dozen of Jose's paintings. I don't think I have a, uh, a donut yet, so I'll have to rethink my position. I'll have to go take a look at, at what I bought of his. Here is a donkey with a monocle. Whimsical work of art. It's just a lot of fun. And Jose does a lot of paintings. They're just simply a lot of fun. And they're quickly done. You can see this brush strokes and he puts things on. And even the background, it's not a blank canvas. It's actually painted. And you can see how he's done his background. They're just wonderful. Here is a picture of the Grand Canyon. Now, Jose lives in Arizona, and he has access to the Grand Canyon. And this is an abstracted version of the Grand Canyon. A wonderful painting. It's one that everybody should own. I own one of his paintings, a major landscape painting, which at the time it was major, 16 by 20. Um, I really enjoy I keep it framed. I have it hanging in my home today. So that's that. Here's a painting of simple cloud formations above a abstract landscape. Again, very nice painting, very colorfully done, very quickly done, and in a sense, very impressionistic done, and a just a nice painting. And, you know, these paintings that I'm showing you, all of them, none of them are selling for a huge amount of money. I think the most expensive one I showed there was one that was, the first one may have been up in more than $1,000. But all the rest of these are, you know, either up for auction starting at a penny or two, or they're in a fixed price auction. Jose uses both a fixed price through eBay has a service for an online gallery. You can show and sell through an online gallery, or you can sell by auction. And Jose does both. And some of these paintings are on his online gallery. Some are on up for auction. Here's the last one, a real nice landscape. Brilliant colors, very complimentary in colors that work together. And a very almost, it's almost realistic. It's still an abstract painting, very impression, impressionistically done. But overall, just really a fun painting and a good quality painting. Now, let's get to the bottom line. Can you make money on eBay? The answer is absolutely. You have to understand eBay is taking Jose's paintings. eBay is taking whatever I put up for sale. It, eBay is taking those images and posting them in every state in the United States, every state, every province in Canada, in Mexico, if you choose the international option, your listings, whatever you're putting up for sale on eBay is appearing on eBay in Germany, in France, in England, in Romania. I don't know if they're still being shown in the Soviet Union, but they used to be. They're shown internationally, and now they're being shown in certain African nations. Being shown in Australia, you find a lot of 
sellers that are selling from Australia. But when you put up these listings, the you get options. Some of them cost an extra few pennies, not very much. Some are for free of where you want your listing listed. If you don't want to ship internationally, don't list internationally. But if you're willing to attract international buyers, by all means, you should trip, do them using the international options. Let's talk about what I've done. I've marketed, as I may have mentioned in an earlier video, I marketed EE Glass beginning with eBay. I drew an audience for eBay. I made a good listings, excellent quality on eBay. I made a mailing list, an offering list that I soon began to use. And I went out and I started working on my own and I built up not only a following, but built up excellent prices for the e-glass paintings. Now I want to talk about how did Jose do? He does these rather whimsical things. This is going to blow your mind. Jose on eBay. He joined eBay on April 15th, 2012. That's 11 years ago. Since he's been on eBay, now you have to remember, Jose, he started slow, so not all these sales are distributed evenly. Jose has made 73,000 sales on eBay in 11 years. Now, I'm going to guess at the average price that Jose sells things at. And I, I really don't know if this is accurate or not. But I'm choosing a nominal value of $50 per work of art that he has sold on eBay. I know he has sold many for $15, $20. I know that he sold many in the several hundred dollar category. I know that he sold a few in the several thousand dollar category. And I'm just taking a guess that the average price that he sold things for is 50 bucks. Now, if I am right, and quite frankly, I hope that I am right, Jose has sold 70, over 73,000 items for an average price, I'm guessing, of $50, if that's true, his total sales in 11 years is $3,650,000. And that comes from 77,100 followers. I don't think he's even had that many bidders. I think his bidders could probably are well under... I'm guessing a couple of thousand bidders. Because people that buy, he, buy Jose's paintings usually buy more than one. I see it in his comments. If you go to his feedback uh, on eBay, you'll see the comments that people make. And he's got lots and lots of comments. And people typically got, this is the fifth painting I've bought from Jose. Or uh, here's another Jose that I just received. Boy, this is just as nice as all the rest that I own. So people return to Jose simply because his paintings are a lot of fun. They're nice quality. And he is, he is a eBay horse. I mean, he sells lots and lots of things for sale. At any one time on eBay, Jose has for sale, either at auction or on the gallery, the eBay online shop or whatever they call it, 3,000 works of art for sale constantly on eBay. And, and to me, I, I tell you, that, that just boggles my mind. It stuns me that anybody could have that number of things for sale. 
But Jose, I'm guessing, says, well, if XYZ company can do it with computers and cell phones and widgets and all kinds of gadgets and stuff, I can do it with paintings. So he produces a lot of paintings. He sells a lot of paintings. And he works all the time. He has to. And he also posts videos on eBay. And he tells people how he sells and how he does all this. You can go to Jose's um, videos that, that are listed on eBay. And you can see that he has tutorials on how he does this and how he made money on eBay. He does tutorial, uh, not tutorial, but he does videos. I've only seen one. I know there's others where he does on his Friday shipping. Jose's, as far as I know, anyway, his shipping day is Friday. It's when he does all his shipping. He has paintings all boxed up, stacked up on a hand truck. Dozens and dozens of them on his shipping day. And he goes out and he lifts up the back of his uh, car, which is an SUV or a, or a minivan or something. as a van of some kind. And inside this thing, it's, it's stacked with these same kind of pizza box looking things that he's got shipped out. He's shipping out paintings on his way to the post office. They're shipped from the... They're stacked from the floor to the ceiling and from the front to the back of the van full of these paintings that he has sold on eBay. And this is just on one day, which I'm, I think, I don't know for sure, but I think it's just on Fridays or whatever one day it is that he does his shipping. He's got, he had to have had 50, 60, 70, 80 or more, maybe a 100 artworks on one day that he was shipping out that he had sold on eBay. I tell you, it's, it's mind-boggling. But here's the deal. Jose works on it. He's productive. He's productive because he does a lot of paintings. He's productive and that he makes listings constantly on eBay that he puts up for sale. He's productive in the different looks and the uh, variety of things that he produces. And he's productive in doing helps for giving people ways to understand what he's doing in painting. Now, I do things my way. I, I sell things one at a time and I don't have lots and lots of things up for sale at one time. But I have very carefully crafted presentations. I do excellent photographs. But like Jose, I start everything out at a very low price. I let him go. He's telling everybody everything that he does. He's a very generous soul. And that's why I count Jose Trujillo among my friends. So anyway, I'm going to, I've kind of gone on kind of long and I, I'm going to leave this video now. But I just use myself and what I do and I use Jose and what he does as examples of the possibilities and how to do them on eBay. We're going to be going through other services and doing auctions and I'm going to be describing marketing ways and all kinds of things in future videos. But today is such a comprehensive subject. I just want to describe a few things about how to sell art on, e on eBay. So anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you for being with me in these videos. And stay alert for the opportunities that will surely come your way. And if you do, grab those opportunities. Conduct your business. Conduct your life according to the opportunities that come your way. You're an artist. Be creative, not just in making, but in doing what, what you have after you've done the actual creation. So I thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to the next time, and I appreciate it. Thank you.